the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose? 2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. I just want to answer your question because you said, why is it that every time we try to unify the other people or the people that rule the other nations, they, they, they get scared of that, they're afraid of it, right? and they destroy whatever type of unification we have. When we have the Black Panthers, they destroyed it. When we have Martin, Martin Luther King, they killed them. When we had Malcolm X, they killed them, right? When we had, uh, who was it? The Black Panthers, did I say the Black Panthers? We had the Young Lords. The AIM. Right, AIM. They destroyed every organization that we had. Why? Because they don't want to see us unified. And you know what? It's in the Bible. Give me that in Psalms chapter two. Start at verse. Verse three. That's why they're killing the black activists up today. They killed the black activists. What? Uh, what's his name? J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover. He brought out a point. He had a he had a decree. He said uh, the the mission of the FBI was to stop the rise of a black messiah. You know what messiah means? Messiah means savior, a savior. So any anybody that comes to try to save their people out of the condition that they're in, he would kill them. He will make it their point. Fred Hampton, he was, a, he was in charge of the Black Panthers in, in, in Chicago. He was only 21 years old, bro. He was, a, he was barely a man. And they killed him. They riddled his body with bullets. Why? Because he was unifying the so-called Mexicans and the blacks together. They don't want to see, like you said, the unification of our people. Why? Because they know when we come together, all of this will stop. All of this will stop. And what? The world, which is rightfully ours, will come back to us. That's right. You understand? That's what they're scared of. Read. Psalm chapter 2, verse 3. Let us break their bonds asunder. Verse 2. Start at verse 2. Verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves together. The kings, the rulers of the earth, they come together to do what? Against the Lord. Against who? The Lord. Against God. They're not really against us. They're against God. You understand? We're God's people. So they were against God. Read. And against his anointed. And against his anointed. Meaning his chosen. That's us. Read. Saying, let us break their bands asunder. Let us what? Break their bands asunder. Let us break their bands asunder. Meaning, what's the band? What's a band? Uh, uh, a band? A band, right? Is a group. Oh, yeah. Uh, let us break their groups asunder. Meaning, Divide them, separate them. And how have, how have they done that? You call yourself Dominican, right? Judah, the so-called tribe of Judah calls themselves blacks. Benjamin, they call themselves West Indian. So how do they separate us? They, your, your people, right, which are the so-called Dominicans. I'm, the, I'm a so-called Dominican. I'm from the tribe of Simeon. What do our people speak? Spanish. What do the people on the other side of the island speak? What do they speak? Creole, French, right? So how have they separated us? With our language, right? Our, 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 they, they, we share the same island, but they separated us with language, all right? They say, they say the, um, the, the so-called Haitians are, are less than the Dominicans. They treat the Dominicans better than the Haitians. Why? They create that division. So read that again. Yeah, exactly, it creates a hatred amongst the tribes. Let right? us break their bands asunder. So it says, let us break their bands asunder. The kings, the rulers, have broken our bands. They have divided our tribes. Right. They separated our tribes. 
all right? It is by design. It is not coincidence. It is by design. Read. And cast away their cords from us. And cast away their cords, meaning their tribe from us. Get, keep them away from us. They got us in a corner, all right? We're, we're in the barrio, in the, in the ghettos, all right? What do they have? They got the best of all the land, all right? They got Fifth Avenue. They got Park Avenue, Madison Avenue. Where we got? Lexington Avenue, First Avenue, Third Avenue, what? They got us in a small concentrated area where, where they, we, we, the only, we only time we go up um, downtown is what? To work for them. Right. You understand? To serve them. And then we got to come back to the ghetto. Why? Because they want us separate from them. Break their bands asunder. Read. And he that sitteth in the high heavens shall laugh. So he, they think by separating us that God is going to laugh because what? They know that we have broken God's laws. So the condition that we're in, God put our enemies over us for breaking his laws. So they think by us continuing to break the laws that God is going to laugh at us. He's going to laugh at our condition. But what does God say? The Lord shall have them in derision. They think that the Lord is going to have us in derision, but obviously it's not happening. You see this? We're coming together as what? As Israelites, as God's chosen people. We know who we are now. They're afraid of that. They're afraid of that. That's why they won't put us on TV, on national television, like they did the Black Panthers, like they did Martin Luther King, like they did Malcolm X. Why? Because once they put us on national television and the people start to wake up, that's what they're afraid of. So they keep us in the corners. We could be on YouTube, all right? But what? Now YouTube is a worldwide sensation. People go to YouTube more than they go to television, all right? So now it is backfiring on them. Our people are coming together. You see so-called blacks and Hispanics together. You don't see that. You know, right. in the world, in the world, what do you see? You see bloods, Latin kings, separate. But here you see brothers coming together, repenting. That's right. That's right. right. All right. It's funny that you mentioned that because recently I've been seeing like a uh, with the gangs. I've been seeing like a unification with yeah. the Bloods and the Crips. Exactly. But what, let me check this out. You're not gonna get into heaven as a Blood, as a Crip, as a Latin King. The only way you're gonna get into, the, into heaven is your true nationality. All right, so you ask, why do they hate the unification of our people? Because they know once we come together, it's over for them, it's a wrap. You understand? Give me that in the book of Judah, chapter five and verse 20. Bring it out. Book of Judith. This is this is part of the Bible that was taken out. Judith is a so-called Dominican woman. You understand? They have a book in her in her honor, named after her. All right, the Book of Judith. You find this in the Apocrypha. Apocrypha means hidden. All right, a lot of our history is hidden. Why? The Greek captivity was hidden. It was taken out of the Bible. Why? Because. They want to keep us asunder. They want to keep us separate. They want to break our bands. They don't want us to unify. You understand, brother? That's the big, that's one of the biggest fears that they have, the unification of the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Read. Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord Governor, it if there be any error in these people. If there be any error, meaning any sin in the Israelites, and they sin against their God. If we sin against God, how do we sin against God? Men shaving their beards, women wearing pants, us buying on the Sabbath. If we sin against God, read. Let us, let us consider that these shall be their ruin. Let us know, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. They know if we are in sin, if we continue to break God's laws, we are going to be at the bottom and they're going to be at the top. They right. know that. They know how to defeat us, brother. They know. Why? Because they've read, they've read the Bible. Now it's, hold on. Now it's time for us to read the Bible and come out of these conditions. It's not going to come by fighting. It's not going to come by, by violence. It's going to come by what? By keeping God's laws. Right. Overcome us. By what? By keeping us in sin. That's why what? They have TV shows about tattoos. Now I know you got those in your youth, in your ignorance, you didn't know. But there's laws against that. And these people know. That's why they put TV shows perpetuating that. That nonsense, that foolishness, that sin. You understand? Because they want to keep us in sin. 
You understand? Right. That's why they have commercials selling razors. Because they want you to shave your beard. I know they're saying that a woman is mostly attracted to a man with less beard. Exactly. That's nonsense, bro. The, Bi the, the Bible dictionary tells you. Whoever has the Bible dictionary, bring it out. The car. I'm going to show you. That's why I'm using our own women to make us do these Bro, they know. Read. But if there be no iniquity, if there be no sin in our people, if we keep God's laws, what happens? In their nation, let my Lord no pass by, lest their Lord defend them. You see that? He says if there's no sin in them, leave them alone. Don't mess with them because God is going to defend them and he's going to destroy you for touching his anointing. You understand? They know that. If we're in sin, we get destroyed. If we're keeping God's laws, God will defend us. You understand? That's why it's important for us to keep God's laws. Grow your beard. Wear your fringes. You understand? Keep the Sabbath. Women wearing a dress. You understand? Come out here and teach your people. All right? It's not just know you're an Israelite. No, you have to keep God's commandments. And then what? Once you build yourself up, then you go out and teach your people the same way we're doing. You understand? Is there more? Yes, yes, sir. And their God be for them. That God be for them. God is going to be for us when we start keeping his laws, when we show change, when we show repentance. Read. And we become an reproach before all the world. We become what? Be a reproach before all the world. A reproach, meaning hatred, a sign of hatred before all the world. Why? Because all the other people in this world, right, they know they're not God's chosen people. God chose us to be a special people, a holy people unto himself. You understand? But we don't act like it. We want to be like everybody else. What is that called? Assimilation. Right. You understand? For what? If you understand anything about history, when we were segregated, when they had the laws of segregation, all right, when the so-called blacks were segregated, we were thriving. We had our own baseball league. We had our own banks. We had our own stores, all right? Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street, exactly. And what happened after we, they saw that the blacks were coming together and they were thriving? They, they destroyed it. Why? Because they fear that thing. It was a threat. They fear that thing. And also, you know what? It wasn't of God. They didn't come they didn't come together under God. They came together under what? Uh, uh, economics, right? Just coming together. But what? You have to come together under God. Understand? You have to come together under this right here. The tribe, the 12 yeah, tribes they, of Israel. And they came under um, the, the white man. Um, right. Because the white man told yeah. them, yo, we don't want you near us. Go that way. You understand? So what they did, they made something out of nothing. And all praises to the Most High, what they did was honorable, but it wasn't of God. That's why the Most High allowed it to be destroyed. Read that again, if they were in, in sin. Judah chapter 5 verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord Governor, if there be any error in these people. If there be any error, if there be any sin, error equates to sin. If there be any sin in our people, read. And they sin against their God. You see that? If they sin against who? Their God. If, they, if we, uh, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, sin against God, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This will be what? Their ruin. Our ruin. What do you see here? You see our people in ruins, all right? Strung out on drugs. Right. Our women prostituting themselves. Our brothers pimping our women, all right? What do they do? In order to come out of that condition, they sell drugs. They rap about selling drugs. They rap about murder. They rap about hoeing our sisters, calling them out of their name, bitch and hoe. Why? Because the white man gives them a certain amount of fame, a certain amount of popularity, a certain amount of riches. If they what? They degrade their own people. You don't see that in rock and roll and white people's music. They don't degrade their women, right. all right? They don't talk about selling drugs, about murdering their own kind, only us. Why is that? Because they know our enemy, our oppressor knows once they have us in sin, we're destroyed. They'll continue to make money off that thing, you understand? They'll make money off our opening the stores on the Sabbath because, because why? Because they know that we're not going to keep God's Sabbath holy by not buying or selling. That's why you see the only people buying or selling today is our people. Who owns the stores? The other people. 
You don't see anything wrong with that? There's something wrong with that. So we gotta come out of that condition, all right? We gotta come out of those lies that have been taught to us. Give me the book of Zephaniah. You know what I want, right? You got a fire? Zephaniah chapter you got a fire? two. You got a fire? You got a, you got a fire? Zephaniah 2 verse 1! Gather together! Right, gather together! Gather yourself together! What does the Bible say? Gather yourself together! What does God say? Gather yourself together! Gather yourselves together! Not Dominicans on one side, Haitians on another side, Puerto Ricans on the other side, Cubans on the other side. What does the Bible say? Gather yourself together! Come together! Gather together! That's what God requires of us. That's what God wants of us. So you want to come out of the condition that you see on 115th Street, where the other nations control everything? What do you have to do? Gather yourself together! Read. Ye! Gather you together, O nation not desired! Nation not desired. Nobody wants us. The other nations don't want us. They don't want nothing to do with us. Why? Because they envy, in their subconscious mind, they envy us. Why? Because we're God's chosen people. That's right. But they know once they keep us in, in sin, they continue to rule. You understand? That's their rulership if they keep us in sin. So we got to stop sinning, brother. That's, that's, the, that's the campaign that we're on. Stop sinning. That's the campaign. You understand, bro? Stop sinning. That's Stop right. breaking God's laws. That's right. That's how you come out of the condition. It's not going to be with guns. It's not going to be marching. It's not going to be Dominicans only. You understand? It's not going to be Latin kings. It's not going to be bloods and crypts. No. It's 12 tribes of Israel. That's, That's right. right. Read. Gather yourself together. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desired. Be before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth, meaning before the judgment comes upon this world. That's right. saying, before God destroys this world, we must come together. Right. That's right. what God is waiting for. That's right. To seal the 144,000. Once the, the men that are chosen to teach and lead these people are sealed, right? That's when God is going to judge these people for what they did to our, to, our, to us as a people. Bring it out! Bro, these things that you see, that's history. That's in, the, in their history books. And it's in the Bible. And the brother's going to bring it out, bro. You have a big job. You're a man of God. You understand? You're part of God's elect. You're part of God's elect. But you have to act like it. You understand, bro? So people, your people, meaning if you're married, your wife, if you have children, your children, your parents, they have to see the change in you. Like you see the change in us, you don't see nobody else wearing fringes, wearing beards, teaching God's laws. God requires that of us. Give me that in Luke 14, verse 23. Luke 14, 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go go out, therefore, go to the highways and hedges. Read it again. Read it again. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And, and he and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. The Lord said unto his servant, that's us, the servants of God, the Israelites, right? Go out into the highways and hedges, right? That's where we're at, right? The places of commerce where our people are mostly concentrated. We don't go to Fifth Avenue, why? Because you ain't gonna see Hispanics and blacks over there. You're gonna see them at work. They're gonna be too busy working. But we're in the neighborhoods where our people are, all right? Read. And compel them to come in. And what? Compel them to come in. Compel them to come in. We're compelling you. We're telling you to come to God. Repent and turn. Turn to who? To God, as an Israelite. Read. That my house may be fulfilled. That my house may be filled. That God's house, the Israelites, may be filled. All right? You're not going to fill the churches. All right? God is not found in the church. Because what do you have? You have this man in the church. Right? Caesar Borgias. That's what you find in the church. They're not going to teach you about the black Messiah. They're not going to teach you that. But it's obviously in the Bible because the brother, the brother brought it out. Right? So God wants us to repent, change our ways, and what? Go out into the highways and the hedges, the streets, the corners, and teach the people so that they may come in. So the same way we're compelling you to do it, you have to do the same thing, bro. But it starts with you. All right? It starts with you, and you have to teach that and keep it going. Until what? 
Till Christ returns, till that house is full. You got it, bro. So you have to change, bro. All right? Watch how important it is that you know this truth and that you learn this truth. Three. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 16. It's come to pass at the end of seven days. And the word of the Lord come unto saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Son of man, you're a son of man. You understand? I'm a son of man. I have made you a watchman, meaning watch. Watch for your people. Watch for, for what's going on in this world. Read. Unto the house of Israel. Unto who? The house of Israel. So be a watchman unto the house of Israel, unto your people. Read. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth and gave them warning from me. Hear the word from my mouth. God's mouth is this Bible. And give them what? Warning from me. Give them warning. Warn them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Keep God's laws. That's, That's right. the warning That's right. that you must give right. them. You understand? That's your job as a son of man, as a watchman. You understand? Read. When I say it to the wicked. When you say it to who? The wicked. The wicked. Those who are breaking God's laws. Read. That shall surely die. You shall surely die. That's what we're telling our people. If you don't keep God's commandments, you are going to die. That's right. Read. And thou givest him not warning. If you don't give them warning, if you don't warn them from the destruction that's to come, what? Nor speaking to warn the wicked. If you don't come out here and teach this truth to your people, if you don't warn your people, read. From his wicked ways. From their wicked ways, from breaking God's laws, what's going to happen? To save his life. To do what? To save his life. That's what we are here doing, saving lives. Saving the lives of our people, the so-called blacks and Hispanics. We are here warning you. Saving your lives. Read. The same wicked man shall die in his wicked iniquity. The same what? Read it nice and clear. Take your yes, time, sir. brother. The, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. The same wicked man shall die in his sin. You understand? If you don't change, if you don't warn your people to change, they will die in their sin. They will die in their iniquity. So we have to teach our sisters, our beautiful Hispanic, so-called Hispanic sisters, right? To come out of the pants and wear a dress. Be modest, you understand? We have to tell our brothers, don't shave their head bald. Let your hair grow, let your beard grow. That's the warning that we must give them, read. But his blood will require at thy hand. Why? Because his blood is going to be required at your hand. God, in the day of judgment, he's gonna say, my servant, my watchman, son of man, what did you do to warn these people? Right. That's what he's going to ask you. And if you say nothing, guess what? Their blood is on your hands, bro. You want your family's blood on your hands? You want your people's blood on your hands? No. That's why we, we don't want it either. That's why we're out here teaching our people. Read. Right. Yet if they warn the wicked. But this is the other hand. If you do warn them, right? And he turned not from his wickedness. If we warn this sister, don't wear pants. Put on a dress like the Bible says. Nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. So if we come out here and warn our people when they still continue in their wicked ways, they're gonna die in their iniquity. You understand? They're gonna die in their sin. Breathe. But thou have delivered thy soul. But you delivered your soul. You're safe. Why? Because they, your hands are clean now. There's no blood on your hands. Why? Because you warned them. You did your job. We did our job to warn the people. Now they will see the treatment of God. We are not black men. We are Israelites.
say that I'm a Jew with sound art. For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's sound art, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.